So I'm back today, and well, I, I'm not even gonna lie to you right now. I'm, 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 boom! Oh my goodness. So, we've got our Spider-Man Far From Home trailer, and I am in complete and utter, um, I, I don't even know what words, like the words, because I just see this thing, I just watched it, right? Um, because it just came out, and I'm in shock and utter surprise and all that stuff, because we just got the Spider-Man trailer! Um, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm trying to... Um, uh, the, the rationalize in my head right now what I just watched because I'm supposed to do the analysis thing. I'm not doing analysis in this video. You know what? I don't care. I'm not doing analysis in, the, in this video. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm not, yeah, I'm not doing any analysis. If you want analysis on trailer, wait for another video for me. Um, right now, I'm just going to be giving my raw emotional reaction because I am a I'm not even joking. I have, ch I had chills watching this trailer. So, for context, just quickly, because I've got to do some context, you know, got to make the whole cohesive thing, which is not uh, actually happening right now. But um, I did not watch the leaked trailer that came out yesterday. I know it came out. I have not watched. I did not watch it. Um, I am one of those real ones who uh, going to the tweet. Uh, I have not watched it. Uh, I did not watch it. I'm assuming it was exactly the same or very similar to this one. Um. But yeah, I mean, I'm because I was against watching it. I wanted to see it when it came out. I was ready to be seen. Um, but my goodness, I think they might have pushed this again ahead of schedule just because you know they wanted to get it out because of the leak. But I'm in chills. It was so good. You know, you got it. Was, and actually, there's someone who said it really well on Twitter. I'm going to quote from here because I think you know I, I don't do a good job of explaining things when I'm I my my brain is broken. Here you go, Richard Newby. Uh, he's he's a, a cool, cool guy, he writes for the Hollywood Reporter, I'm pretty sure. Um, and he said, love the trailer, love that the trailer gave us just enough to sink our teeth into, but didn't overload us with spoilers. Additionally, glad to see that the trailer still very much remains focused on Peter's, uh, Holland, journey, and isn't just, hey, remember this one, this, this guy and this one, uh, you know, where it's just like, you know, oh, look, there's Doc Ock, and it's a goblin, and it's Doctor Strange, right? that, that's kind of what he's saying. Um, and I completely agree with him, and of course, yeah, he, did, he just completely, um, I don't know what he's, like, he did a really good job summarizing my thoughts, because I can't clearly do that right now, because I, um, I, I, I am kind of, um, uh, I'm just kind of in, um, uh, in, in a sense of kind of, I guess, disbelief, uh, and shock. I'm sorry, I know this is probably very annoying, that I just can't formulate words in the two minutes. Um, let's talk about this trailer. We got to talk about, we got the multiverse mentioned. We got to see kind of Peter's, the reason Peter goes to Doctor Strange is because he wants to get to forget about Spider-Man. Then Doctor Strange does some magic stuff, and Peter messes it up, and then they break the multiverse, and then we see Doc Gawk and, and Electro, and, um, we see Electro Lightning, which is a picture I had on hand, which I don't have on hand, which I'm going to put on hand, which will be on screen, uh, in, in a second. I don't know, I don't know. Um, but I, I, I have it on hand, and now I don't have it. Well, I have it on hand. It's just, it's somewhere. There we go. We also got to see Matt Murdock uh, as the lawyer defending him, or, or, or something. I think it was Matt. Um, there we go. There's the picture right there. Look at that. I'm very good at doing this on the fly. Look at that. Uh, that's Electro from Lightning. Uh, we got to see Doc Hawk. We got to see Iron Spider. Uh, we got to see the Green Goblin Bomb, which is on the side. Um, oh my goodness, I'm just in complete and utter shock right now. Spider-Man, amazing. Uh, Doctor Strange is just so good. I love how when he does the little thing with the Wong, yeah, I'm not gonna do it, don't worry, Wong, go on vacation, it's all good. And Wong's like, okay. And then Doctor Strange is like, psych. It's a very, very great thing for him to do. Um, Doctor Strange is literally the greatest. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm in still in utter and complete shock. I don't know, um, I really, really don't know kind of what to, to, to say about this besides that thing that I just read from the, um, you know, because I'm, uh, this reason I'm not a reporter is because I don't know how to express myself in competent sentences, clearly, look at that. Um, but, yeah, it was a very good trailer, you know, we got to see a lot of stuff, but we also didn't see a lot, and there's still stuff that's left, and that's what Marvel's really good at, and I'm kind of going off on tangents here, but they're really good at kind of, like, hyping us up for this, and then still, like, I feel like even people watch the leak trailer, watching this is still going to make them kind of be excited about this movie, right? Because it's official. And, I mean, you know, it's just, it's different. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, I think it's just, it's really good. And it's a three minute trailer, right? So it's not like it's a, a they, they call it the official teaser trailer. It's a, the, it's a three minute trailer. So it's a nice, hefty trailer in terms of size and in terms of, um, you know, content. Uh, I love that Peter MJ thing at the, on the roof. I love the police interrogation thing. You know, because it does show that it is Spider-Man story, and I just, I, I don't know, I think that was just really good. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just, I really, I'm, I'm just really happy about all of this, and, I mean, yeah. I also think that there will be, I think this does kind of confirm at least Daredevil's comics coming back. I don't know who else will be, um, will be returning from the Netflix world, but that show, the TV show, still do have a chance of being connected slash kind of connected slash whatever Kev Feige wants to do, really. Um, it also does kind of confirm that we will be seeing more multiverse versions of Spider-Man. Um, yeah. That's it. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what else to say here. But what did you think um, of, the, of this? The, da- the down below, let me know. And uh, don't forget to, to like, subscribe, uh, comment, share your thoughts, follow us on social media. Um, but yeah, that, all that stuff. But what did you think of this amazing trailer? Um, I'm going to have to probably watch it a few more times, and then I'll finally get some um, uh, get some analysis video done or something. But let me know what you thought, and if you got to the end of this, congratulations for listening to my rambling. I'm sorry, I'm in shock still. I'm, I'm just over the moon right now. But yeah. Uh, th- th- thank you all for watching. I'm going to go play some Spider-Man.